Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 1, Lesson 16, and tonight we are solving two-step word problems using the standard subtraction algorithm fluidly. We are modeling with tape diagrams, and we are assessing the reasonableness of our answers using rounding. So that's a lot. Um, and there are, in fact, only three problems on tonight's homework, it's, and not really subparts the way you normally would experience them. So I'm only going to do one of those problems together. I'm going to do problem number three. Problem number three, we're going to use our read-draw-write strategy, by the way. I'll put that over here just to remind us. Let's do the reading. Uh, a local store was having a two-week back-to-school sale. They started the sale with 36,390 notebooks. During the first week of the sale, 7,424 notebooks were sold. During the second week of the sale, 8,967 notebooks were sold. How many notebooks were left at the end of two weeks? Is your answer reasonable? So the next thing we want to do is we want to draw. Um, so we know that they started with a whole amount, right, of 36,390 notebooks. That's the whole amount. And we know during the first week of the sale, they sold, let's see, they sold during the first week of the sale, ah, 7,424, 7,424 notebooks sold. And then in the second week, they sold another, let's see, second week of the sale, 8,967. 8,967 notebooks sold. And then the question is, what was left over, right? And rather than use a question mark, I'm going to say, let's see, how many, how many were they, notebooks were left? So I'm going to say N, the notebooks that are left, okay? So let's see. This isn't a part, part, whole question. This is a part, part, part whole question. So we could approach this in a couple of different ways. One is we could take the whole, subtract one of the parts, and that would give us this remaining section. And then we could take that as a new whole, subtract one of the parts, and that would give us this remaining section. Right? So part, part, whole, and then part, part, whole on this one. The other thing is we could say, well, we could add up what they sold in these two weeks, and then we could subtract it from the whole and give us our part. And I think that's the way I'm going to do it, because I'd like to get, mix in a little bit of addition, which I find a little easier with my subtraction. So let's do this. Let's add these two numbers together. So that's 7,424 notebooks plus 8,967 notebooks. And we're going to add those two together. So let's go ahead and we'll start at our on our smallest unit. Let's see, 4 ones plus 7 ones is 11 ones. Cord under there. Two tens plus six tens plus one more ten is nine tens. All right. In the hundreds column, four hundred plus nine hundred is thirteen hundred. There's a three there and a one. And finally, seven thousand plus eight thousand plus one thousand is sixteen thousand. So it looks to us like we sold this number of notebooks in those two weeks. And now we can move on to our subtraction. So if we took the whole, which is thirty-six thousand. 390 notebooks, and we subtracted the 16,391 that we sold, we would have our answer. So let's see how we can do. Do we have enough ones? Zero minus one, oh, we can't do that. So we're going to need to decompose one of our tens into enough ones. There we go. But now we don't have enough tens, right? Eight minus nine. So we're going to need to decompose one of our hundreds into tens. Great, but now we don't have enough hundreds. Two minus three. So we need to decompose one of our thousands into hundreds. And now we run short of thousands, five minus four. So we need to decompose one of our ten thousands into thousands. <sighs> so that means we've, we can go ahead and do our subtraction, right? We have ten ones minus one one is nine ones. We have 18 tens minus 9 tens is 9 tens. We have 12 hundreds minus 3 hundreds is 9 hundreds. We have 15 thousands minus 6 thousand is 9 thousand. And we have 2 ten thousands minus 1 ten thousand is 1 ten thousand. And that means we have a leftover at the end of two weeks of 19,999. Now, let's see, we could go ahead and do our writing strategy. Let's do our writing strategy first, and then we'll assess our reasonableness, okay? So, let's see. Our writing strategy would be uh, 
there were 19,999 notebooks left. Beautiful. Is our answer reasonable? Well, let's see. Um, you know what? I like to round some of these numbers. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shrink this down a little bit to give us a little bit of extra space here on the side, and I'm going to switch to my red pen. I would say let's let's adjust our numbers. Let's um, let's estimate our numbers to the nearest thousand to see if that works. Okay. So let's see. Let's pretend our hole wasn't this specific number, thirty-six thousand three hundred ninety. Let's estimate to the thousandth digit. So is it closer to thirty-six thousand or thirty-seven thousand? Well, three hundred ninety. That would be lower. So I would say that this the hole would be thirty. 6,000. Okay? And then and then at another point, we went ahead and we uh, added up our two parts here. So let's go ahead and estimate this number. That, remember, was what they sold in week one plus what they sold in week two gave us this number. So let's estimate this to the thousands. Let's see. So it's either going to be 16,000 or 17,000. I look to the, next, um, to the next smaller digit, next smaller unit, and that's a low number of three. So I'm going to say it's 16,000. So let's see. I'm going to say 16,000. Let's go ahead. Can we do our subtraction here? Do we have enough ones? Yep. Enough tens? Yep. Enough hundreds? Yep. Enough thousands? Yep. Enough ten thousand? Yep. We can do it. So let's do that. Zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus zero is zero. Six minus six is zero. Three minus two is one. And that's about twenty thousand. Hey, look at our answer. Nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Not only was our estimate pretty darn close, it was within one. <laughs> so yes, our answer is reasonable. I would say yes. Our answer is just one digit away from our estimate. Awesome. Well, that makes me more convinced than ever that we did this. Now, remember, we could check our work in other ways. We could check our work by adding part to the part to see if we got the whole. We could redo all this work and recheck this as well. But estimation is another easy way for us to figure out if we're in the right ballpark. And when we did our estimation here and said, that's eh, about 36,000, and they sold about 16,000 in those first two days, we came up with 20,000, and we were very happy with how that estimated. So... Thank you for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Good luck with the other problems in this homework set, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.